Hi everyone, today we're going to study order and degree of partial differential equation. By definition, equations which contain one or more partial derivatives are called partial differential equations or PDE for short. In a partial differential equation, there must be at least two independent variables and one dependent variable. For examples, this is example one, partial derivative of z with respect to x plus partial derivative of z with respect to y equals z plus x, y, z. Example two, y times partial derivative of z with respect to x plus x times partial derivative of z with respect to y equals z. Number three, partial derivative of z with respect to x equals two times partial derivative of z with respect to t. Example four, second partial derivative of y with respect to t equals c square times second partial derivative of y with respect to x. Let us study order and degree of partial differential equation. The order of a partial differential equation is the highest derivative term occurring in that equation. The degree of the partial differential equation is the degree of the highest order derivative term occurring in the equation, free from radicals and fractional powers. The term degree is not applied to the partial differential equation which cannot be expressed in polynomial equations in the derivatives. Example 1. Find the order and degree of the partial differential equation. Partial derivative of z with respect to x plus partial derivative of z with respect to y equals z plus x, y, z. We say that order is the highest derivative term occurring in the equation. We can see here that we have two partial derivatives. And both of them are first partial derivative. So the order equals 1. Now for the degree of the PDE, this is the degree of the highest order derivative term occurring in the equation. Both of our partial derivatives here are of degree 1. So we say that the degree of this PDE equals 1. This is now our final answer. Example 2. Find the order and degree of the PDE, second partial derivative of Z with respect to X equals the quantity 1 plus partial derivative of z with respect to y and this quantity is raised to negative one half power. So the order is the highest derivative term. We can see here two partial derivatives. One is second partial derivative. The other is first partial derivative. So the order will be the highest one. In that case, the second partial derivative. So the order equals 2. Now for the degree of the PDE, it is the degree of the highest order derivative term occurring in the equation. But take note, the equation must be free from radicals and fractional powers. At first, we need to get rid of this negative one-half powers. To find a degree free from radicals, we're going to raise the power to negative 2 
on both sides of the given PDE so that this negative one half here power will be cancelled out. If we do that, the equation becomes like this. On the left side, the negative one half powers will come. On the right side, because of that negative two powers, it will cancel this negative one half powers. So, the right side becomes like this. Next, let us rationalize this negative two powers on the left side. We can rewrite the left side into like this. Simplifying further, we're going to invert both sides of the equation. And the equation becomes like this now. The next step is this one plus partial derivative of z with respect to y, we're going to cross multiply on the left side. So the new equation becomes like this. At this point, the equation is now free from radicals and fractional powers. We can now collect the degree of the highest derivative. So you see here, our second partial derivative is here with power 2. So the highest power of the highest derivative is 2. Therefore, the degree equals 2. This is now our answers. Example 3. Find the order and degree of the PDE. The square of the partial derivative of z with respect to x plus third partial derivative of z with respect to y equals z times x times partial derivative of z with respect to x. For the order, which is the highest derivative term, we can see here that we have third partial derivative. Therefore, our order equals 3. Next, the degree of PDE is the degree of the highest order derivative term occurring in the equation. We have here the third partial derivative and the power of this is 1. So, the degree equals 1. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.